Okay, folks, a little loud out here. We're going to go inside. This is the Montana 3931 FB. So we're going to take a look at this floor plan today. Get out of this noise. There you go, 3931 FB. Yeah, we got a we're right near a freeway with this one this is out in the front of our dealership and the wind's coming from the north so the sound is uh, traveling this way so i'm gonna go to the front bath area because it's the 3931 fb montana fifth wheel and uh starting in the bathroom here you've got a, a lot of floor space here and you've got a uh, sitting area right there next to the shower which has this adjustable high uh, rainfall type shower head. So the nice thing about this one is when you're getting ready, you've got room, you've got elbow room. I'm just standing here getting ready, grabbing stuff. Maybe you got hung up there. Maybe you, you have a place to hang up clothes over here in this front area. Also, there's a, this kind of camera work isn't really great. Sorry about that. So this is pushing the doors over to the side. You have a big closet area there with uh, cubby holes right here that you can put all kinds of stuff in there. And it's exactly the same on the other side also, just like that. So this one, the they're called the, the FB front bath. And I don't know if I'm really capturing that on this... There's a nice uh, place to hang a towel there. There is a uh, storage down here also where you can put plenty of stuff. And so let's take another look. Here's the bathroom area. I'm trying to get a view of it. Okay, so now I'm backing into the uh, to the bedroom. Got the TV up there. This one has a king size bed on a slide out window on each side and it's got USB and 110 on each side also and then there is a uh, little storage area here where you can hang stuff up so if you've got a lot of clothes you want to hang stuff up you like to go places do things this one's this is very livable there's a chest of drawers right there decent sized drawers and then and this is all in the bedroom and then three oh, storage places like that it's it's a uh, plenty of storage so uh and this has a door it's a regular door that you can close it's not a pocket door all right so uh that was the bedroom and bathroom area now there's a half bath in this one it's not real well lit in here it's got a toilet that is very open, well positioned. So the other toilet is, is kind of up against the shower. This is actually, you know, while it's a guest bathroom, I mean, it's your, it's your, it's your bathroom, so you can use it whenever you want. And this is very functional here as far as a uh, half bath with storage. There's storage in here. You can't really see it. But, uh, you got storage in here storage up there so that's very this is a very livable if you're gonna be working and living in an RV this one will work another thing that'll work about it it's got a uh, washer and dryer hookups right here right in the kitchen so if you do want to put a stackable or put a washer dryer in here yeah, it's plumbed for it right here in these uh, right there next to your refrigerator so here is my contact information. I don't know about this uh, production value on this video. I'm, I feel like I'm not capturing everything. I have to work on my camera work. There's my contact information. I'm Duke. That's my phone number. Send me a text. I'll be happy to correspond with you and answer any questions. I'm in Houston, Texas area. So when you walk in the door, there's this area here. Again, more storage. Look at all the storage here. You get that little counter space there. You put your coffee pot or something there. You got a place to plug it in, a toaster oven, something if you like that. You got a residential fridge. This is going to have an inverter so you can run that refrigerator 
convert your uh, 12 volt to 110. This has a uh, nice size cooktop. It's three burners and it has a decent sized oven. You can actually put a ham or something in there, vegetarian casserole, whatever you prefer. Four drawers on that side. Nice touch with the wine rack here. Little storage area here. You can put spices and things. Then you have a uh, pantry area here. So this one is, uh, again, very livable. Lots of space to store things. More storage here on the back of this island. You've got this uh, larger, on one side it's a stainless steel sink. This is a solid uh, feeling sink for an RV. Of course, Montana is the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for five year, 15 years straight. And that's not based on all new business. There's been a lot of repeat business, a lot of referral business. That's what makes Montana such a successful uh, uh RV and sales is in the luxury market. People like the experience they have and they come back to it. There's the lighting fixtures. Pretty cool looking. Thomas Edison would have really liked to have seen that in an RV 2021. So we we'll appreciate all his input in helping us get here. Now there's two more chairs. There's right now they're stored underneath the uh, bed, I believe. Uh, there are folding chairs that you can add, and there's a leaf that comes out on this table. Nice looking detail there. More storage up on top of your Thomas Paine. Now this is a little bit wider theater seating, so you can put this uh, armrest in the middle with the cup holders. You can put it up and make it like a love seat. And when you're sitting here in the theater seating, You've got windows off to the side over here. The TV's directly in front of you, the electric fireplace. There's a window there in the kitchen. So you've got kind of an open field and there's windows directly to the side of you on each side of this slide out. Nope, on that one side. Yeah, there is one there. The, the blind is just down right now. It's got those blackout shades. Another feature on these blackout shades on the edges here, they've got this piece here to where uh, light cannot come in uh, from the uh, side there when the, when the shade is down and also if somebody happens to be standing outside walking by just going for a walk or something they're not going to be seeing in through the edge of your uh, your blind so it's it's more private if you like privacy which everybody makes privacy when they're in their RV look at this more uh, 110 USB connections here right there by your uh, uh, triple white sofa on each side and there's a little table so you can put your devices there this makes into a bed right here so if you have an occasional guest don't let them get too comfortable this is your RV you're making the payments you're paying cash for it get all that storage up there you know this could you know every RV is perfect for somebody this was definitely perfect for somebody if, if you were looking for a livable RV with a big bathroom comfortable living area nice kitchen nice it, it, it's nice fit and finish on this one this is a, a pleasing RV to look at I don't know if that's coming through but it's very comfortable in here it's modern enough looking but it's uh, it's it's very comfortable I could live in this very comfortably if that's what you're looking for a place to, something to put at the uh, lake you're going to be traveling around, uh, working and living as a nurse, oil field, uh, any kind of work like that. This this is perfect. There's no reason you can't live in luxury. You will be living in luxury in this. You've got the uh, stereo uh, sound for your big screen TV. Look at that up there. There's a storage up above the uh, TV. All right, well, thank you for viewing my video. It went a little bit long. Uh, I'm Duke, and here's my contact information. I'll be happy to help you anytime. If you're interested in making a deal on an RV, uh, I'll be happy to help you 